Hello everyone, today we're gonna make a, in this video we're gonna make a, a use UART application with STM 103 uh, First, let's make a project STM 2.2 So, uh, first of all you have to get FTDI uh, it's kind of a stealing uh, to communication with the computer you have to get FTDI uh, I'm gonna put the connections here and yeah you have to get that you must get it and then let's make comment with this one is my Let's write the UART data space. Yes. Yeah, I'm waiting. It's too long. I don't know why. Yeah, that it's open this project. Of course, first we're gonna do the mm, serial wire, the source, and crystal ceramic resonator, and then we're gonna use the UART. Click there, and we're gonna use USO. Actually, UART is like universal asynchronous transceiver and receiver. And synchronous mode. I'm just gonna use mm, 9600. Uh, I mean, it depends on you, whatever you want, you can use it. Yeah, 8 bits. Maybe you know, Word is communicating with communication with 8 bits. I mean, you cannot up and high it. I'm worried a bit. No, we don't want to stop it. It's more okay. Okay, we just choose. Uh, I'm just gonna choose change this one. And as you can see, the PA1 and PA9 is RX and PX. We are gonna make connection. Uh, we're gonna look at first, then I'm gonna make a connection. And I see it's the thing. Eight, oh my gosh, it's okay. I think I'm not gonna change it. And let's generate core. Yes, yeah, I just wrote the code and let me explain. I just add two library. One is the string library, and the other, another one is the stdio. Stdio for sprintf string for the length of the string. Um, I just used, and I add two declare two variables. So one of them is number, it's char. Uh, in not char for sorry, it's integer variable. The one of them is the data. It's char variable actually is a string. And let's get down and you can see this UART is in it to function. And in the while loop, in the infinite loop, I'm just gonna wrote, I'm just gonna send the data to computer with like number, it's gonna uh, up one in the uh, one second. Every second is gonna number is one up. up. So I just set number and plus plus it's gonna add one and as print f I just mm, it's a worry non variable I just uh, send it into the data it's kind of I mean it's it's like I just chained integer to char to print it's as print f actually is to do so I'm just gonna transmit the data. I'm not gonna receive 
and anything or something and let's get the function of the UART transmit the first one is the uh, hash UART one I'm using hash UART one actually it's, yeah it's as you can see I'm using hash UART one that's why I just wrote the address of hash UART one and I'm using the 8-bit data <coughs> Can see you in 8 bit and the data data is the my mm, variable data variable I just wrote this one to data I'm gonna send and the size and the timeout size the that's why I said before I just add this string library to get the length of the data uh, that is the Mm, size and then the timeout I don't know timeout is like I'm not with too much information I don't have too much information about it but I'm just using the 1000 uh, let me check maybe I can get something timeout I don't know probably the to I don't know if I get I'm gonna write down the screen and to one second delay and every one second it's written is uh, the number of one up okay connect with ST link and of course FTDI you have to get FTDI to your communication I got I just connect and I'm using the Arduino either to see the uh, you can use like put or something I'm just using Arduino either I'm just gonna use actually Arduino either you can use like put and you can choose the 9600 baud rate and the com and I'm just gonna use serial monitor and is it COM3? Yeah, it's COM3 and serial monitor. As you can see, it's written every one second, it's written 90, 40, 41. That's the UART communication with the XDN32. And thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care.